August 7th. Prayer in the Father's house. They found him in the temple, and he said to them, Did you not know that I must be about my Father's business? Luke 2, Luke 2, verses 46 and 49. Our Lord's childhood was not immaturity waiting to grow into manhood. His childhood is an eternal fact. Am I a holy, innocent child of God as a result of my identification with my Lord and Savior? Do I look at my life as being in my Father's house? Is the Son of God living in His Father's house within me? The only abiding reality is God Himself, and His order comes to me moment by moment. Am I continually in touch with the reality of God, or do I pray only when things have gone wrong, when there is some disturbance in my life? I must learn to identify myself closely with my Lord in ways of holy fellowship and oneness that some of us have not yet even begun to learn. I must be about my Father's business, and I must learn to live every moment of my life in my Father's house. Think about your own circumstances. Are you so closely identified with the Lord's life that you are simply a child of God continually talking to Him and realizing that everything comes from His hands? Is the eternal child in you living in his father's house? Is the grace of his ministering life being worked out through you in your home, your business, and in your circle of friends? Have you been wondering why you are going through certain circumstances? In fact, it is not that you have to go through them. It is because of your relationship with the Son of God who comes through the providential will of his father into your life. You must allow him to have his way with you, staying in perfect oneness with him. The life of your Lord is to become your vital, simple life, and the way He worked and lived among people while here on earth must be the way He works and lives in you.